Hey guys, my name is Mandy of LuLaRoe by Mandy and Miles, and I just wanted to show you guys a super quick video on how to wear all of the different sizes in the Carly dress with some simple hacks and tricks so that way you can shop the print that you love and not the size. Meaning if you see a pattern or print you absolutely have to have, it's not your size, don't worry because these tricks are going to be amazing for you and show you all the different ways you can actually get away with wearing Carly's that aren't typically supposed to be your size. The Carly's are the LuLaRoe swing dresses, so they're very flowy, very fun, and they do tend to run a little bit big, which for me is tough because I'm kind of short. I'm five foot four, so if that's any indication as to how this would fit you, this is an extra, extra small Carly. Now you can see that they are longer in the back, a little bit shorter in the front. They are flowy. You have them a bit more fitted up by the arms and up here, and then it kind of flows out. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is very simple. It is with a headband. So now you can use a rubber band. You can use a thin belt. I don't have any thin belts. I'm going to order some. So I do it with this stretchy hairband. So this is just a really easy trick. So what I'm going to do, because I kind of want to bring it up, I want to make it a little bit shorter. All I'm going to do is put this headband around my waist and pull out like that. So what that's doing is it's making it shorter and it's giving it almost like a top and skirt kind of look. How cute is that? Now the Carly just became my favorite dress and all I used was a simple headband. You can use anything really to do this. Belts are really cute as well. And it gives it a different look. You can always pull it down to make it longer or fold it over more, but that's really cool. And this is just an extra, extra small Carly. All of the Carlys that I'm showing you guys are all available in our shopping group if you want to check these out. We've got lots more coming, so let's look at some other ones. So we have another really pretty Carly. I love these colors. It's kind of sheen. It almost looks elegant. I'm just going to do the same thing because I love this hack. And you can do this with any size. Even if you are, say, 5'4 or petite, you don't have to just do this with the extra, extra small. You can do this with a large Carly. If you love the print, break the rules and go up a size or two sizes or seven sizes. You can do it all. Same thing. I think it looks a lot cuter. You can see more of my leg. It's still quite long in the back, but that's adjustable. Another extra, extra small Carly. And another. And another. So cool, right? Okay, so that's the extra, extra small. Let's take a look at the extra small. Okay, so now I'm wearing an extra small Carly. You can tell it's a little bit longer on me. You can really tell in the back that it's quite a bit longer on me. Um, and you can see that the sleeves are just a tad bit looser. The neckline is a little bit lower, um, which I really, really like, but I love stripes. So again, the extra small is gonna be a little bit big on me, but there's a couple things I like to do so that I can still wear that print. So I like to wear it with a Cassie skirt underneath. And something that's really cute to do is just wear it as a tunic. So you can do this any way. You can just grab the sides of your Carly and bring them to the front and you're gonna make just a big knot. You can make this right in the front or you can make it on the side. I kind of like to do it on the side. And you tie it just like a balloon and then you can just go ahead and tuck the tail under and you have a really gorgeous knot. The bigger the knot, the better, I say. But see how cute that is? And then in the back, you still got some booty coverage. It actually kind of looks like a dress in the back, but I'm rocking it with a skirt. So it's a whole other way that I can wear this dress. Now, what you can also do, even if you, you know, say you don't want to wear it as a tunic, but you like knotting it, and you want to show a little bit of leg, love me some leg, then you just do it a, a little side knot so that it's still a dress, but it brings it, it raises it a little bit, and it's still super, super cute. So you can see what that looks like to give it a different look. Okay, so here's another extra small Carly. I just came across this print, so I had to show you girls. And now I have another tunic, slash dress, slash whatever I want it to be. How cute is this as a shirt, though? I love this print like this. I think it's gorgeous. You can kind of see close up. It's kind of got a little bit of an Aztec print to it. And... You want to just wear it as a dress. Again, different look. Just give it a little baby knot at the side. And it's going to raise it up a little bit like that. Super cute because again, the extra small, just a little bit big on me. So usually I like to do a hack with it. Okay, now let's see what a small looks like. 
Okay, so here's a small Carly on me. Now you're really starting to see quite a big sizing difference. It's pretty long on me, but I love me some red, so I'm gonna make a wrap dress with this. For the wrap dress, all you need is a hair tie. This one is super simple. You're gonna pull all the fabric all the way to the side, put your hand right about there, and you're just gonna wrap that. Now you've wrapped it, and you're going to pull some material over here. You're gonna have those two ends meet. You're gonna take your hair tie, and you are just gonna tie it just like that. You do this with any hair tie, and then if you want to, you have that, just go ahead and tuck it. Just like that. How chic is this? It's very, very sleek. It's very fitted. And keep in mind, you guys, this is a small Carly on me. I'm only five foot four. You have it raised a little bit to the side, which I like. And it's really, really fitted. And it's just a gort. You wouldn't even know that that's a hack with this. It just looks like a wrap dress. It's such a cool way to wear it. And you don't have to do this with a small. You can do this with any size. If you want to wear a 2XL and make it a wrap dress, go for it. If you love the print, do it! Break the rules! How cute is that? Okay, we have to do it again because I love this hack so much. Another small Carly, love the print, a little too big on me. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So pretty and, and it doesn't even look like a Carly. I'm almost seeing a little bit of a Julia doing it this way. But hey, you get the Carly and you can wear it this way or any other way that you want. That's what makes this dress so beautiful and hackable. Okay, so now I'm wearing a medium Carly. Here's what it looks like on me. And I really wanted to show you guys this one because it's leggings material, so it is super buttery soft. And I love this print. And so this trick is going to be called the flower trick. You're gonna make a really pretty flower here. It looks uber complicated, but it's the easiest thing ever, which is why I wanna show you guys. So again, this trick is gonna make this medium Carly fit me a little bit better. Um, and it's going to create a really cool design. So you need your hair tie for this. And you are going to grab pretty much anywhere you want. Like say you want to grab right here. And then go ahead and take your hair tie and you're just going to make like a ponytail. And the bigger the flower you want or the shorter you want the dress, pull more material. You're going to make it shorter. So then you see I have my ponytail. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and flatten that out like a pancake kind of. And then you're going to take like a clear hair tie. I recommend having a clear hair tie for this. And that knot that you just tied below, you're going to grab that and just put that clear hair tie over it and you have a flower. How cute! And now this dress fits me better. It's more fitted in the waist. Okay, so now I put on another medium Carly. It's a floral one, so naturally I'm going to do the flower trick with it, right? Um, so this time I want to make my flower a lot bigger. I'm going to grab more material, which is going to make it a lot shorter. See how much leg I have showing? It's because I'm making a bigger ponytail, a bigger flower. Just take a regular hair tie to do that. And then you have all of this material. You're going to flatten it like a pancake. And then you can feel that knot, that ponytail that you just made underneath. You're going to grab it. And then with a clear hair tie, so you can't really see it, you're going to wrap it around the flower twice this time just to make sure your flower is really secure. And there you go. Now you have a beautiful flower. This is a medium Carly and it fits me like a glove now. See that flower? So pretty, right? Okay, so now I'm wearing a large Carly. This one's a really pretty feather Carly and I love me some feathers. So obviously quite long, it's almost a maxi on me because I'm so short. Uh, but here's a trick with another hair tie. So this one's pretty simple. Say you want to create an empire waistline. So you're going to pull this up and you're going to grab some fabric right here, right underneath your bust. You're going to make an inside pony. So now it's on the inside of your dress instead of the outside. And then you're going to just tuck that like that and now I have a pretty pleated in the front dress it's fitted in the top and then it flows out from below the bust so that it's very flattering and so pretty and it fits me a lot better now so that is with a hair tie but a lot of people like to put the ruching on the side so really it's the same thing 
right where my pocket is. You can see it makes this diagonal ruching, which is so pretty. And again, there's my leg again, so it's a bit shorter. Longer in the back though. And that's a large Carly. And I wear an extra, extra small. But you better believe I'm gonna rock a large when I can wear it like this. Okay, so now I just wanna show you guys one last hack. This one is super simple. All I'm gonna do is grab a small classic tee. I grabbed this one because I like how the flowers match the color in the Carly. I'm back in my extra, extra small Carly, my original size. And this trick is super, super easy. I'm actually gonna put this on top of my Carly. Grab this and just tie it like a balloon for a knotted tee. And yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm gonna be pattern mixing here because that's what fashion's all about. It's supposed to be fun. So mix it up, try new things. There are so many other hacks out there. These ones are my favorite and they made me fall in love with the Carly all over again. Hopefully it does the same for you and hopefully this video helps you guys. Bye, thanks for watching.